Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a good day. Happy Father's Day. Uh, I'm having a great Father's Day. Um, I got a card and a bunch of gifts and stuff and uh, they did me good. Thank you, Kelsey and bo the boys for uh, giving me a great Father's Day. I truly appreciate it. It's been a great day. We just got done with church and stuff. But uh, over the weekend, I wanted to share with you guys our boating experience over the weekend. As you know, I recently said we got a new project. We got a boat and uh, <laughs> oh my goodness guys i don't even know where to start let's start with <laughs> this next clip i'm about to show you this next clip uh it, i hope you guys enjoy just know that we're fine we're safe the boat's here we're alive and everything's good um but man what a weekend on the water we tried to do uh, i hope you guys enjoy if you're not subscribe please subscribe and uh, stay tuned after the boating stuff we're gonna take a look at the animals and uh we'll check on them and see how they're doing so we love you guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoy hey randy thank you so much for getting the trolling motor running for us and uh, we really appreciate it we came out here we put the plug in <laughs> and we put the boat in the water and we're out there oh logo how long you think we were out there four minutes four minutes not even. Not even. Probably two minutes. He's out there about two minutes and uh I had two casts. Logan got the cast pulled twice and we looked down and there was there was water in the floorboard. <laughs> so we're like, oh man, oh no. So Logan uh turned on the pump and uh he opened up the back and he goes, No nah, bro, we're taking on way too much water, way too fast. And uh so I hightailed it uh to the shore and uh we get out, we put the boat in. That was a headache in itself because it's heavy on the back. And we pull it out and uh, we said, we forgot the main drain plug hole. Now don't ask us how we did this, you know. Uh, we plugged everything else up. <laughs> you probably wasn't supposed to plug. And uh, live and learn. Luckily, <laughs> luckily we were fine, the boat's fine. We were able to get it on the trailer. And uh, it's a great, I feel like that was a great first run. Yeah, it was. That was a good, not trial and error, guys. Trial and error. Nothing like having a boat. At least we know the pump works. So that's good. So, uh, epic fail for the first time we put the boat in this year. Dang near sunk it immediately. <laughs> what are you going to do? Anyway, hey, if you guys have ever had a crazy boating story where you almost sank the boat, leave a comment, smash the like button. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that little snip bit about us about Dropping the boat in the lake for our first run. <laughs> What'd you say, Aiden? I see an epic cannonball. Do it. Here, I got one for it. Go for it. That was a good cannonball. Yeah, look at that one. That one looks good. You ready to go catch some fish? Yeah. Me too. We got, uh, we're going to put worms on all these hooks. And we're going to put them on that uh, trot line. And then we're going to go out there and set it somewhere. Are you excited? Yeah. Me too, buddy. Hopefully we catch a lot of fish. Yeah. Hopefully we catch a fish on every hook. I'm excited. We're sitting right here in the shade for now. Uh, and we're going to we're gonna bait all this right now while we're in the shade. So that way we can get out there and set it real fast. We better catch a trout like I caught that fish. Right? We're, we're looking for Fishing. catfish. Yeah. Like yeah. I caught that. I don't know what it was, but I think it was a catfish yesterday. Oh, yeah? It was because like, all the line snapped and the bait was gone. Oh, nice. So we had to reline it and rebait it. You'll have that. You ready? Mm hmm. Let's go catch some fish, buddy. I know. You got a nice little good looking worm there, buddy. That's a good one. Got a few more. We got all of these baited up. Got these hooks baited up. And uh, we got a few more to go. How much more? Well, we got two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Eleven more to go. And these ones are ready to go. We're going to get these out in the water and uh, catch us some catfish. Yeah. In a minute, we're going to load our boat in. That's right. In a minute, we're going to load our boat in. First, we got to get this bad boy on a hook. What do you say? Yep. What'd you do there, buddy? Put the worm on the hook. He put that worm on that hook all by himself. Good job, man. Hey, high five on that. Good job, buddy. Now look, we only got one left. We got a bait. One more, and we're gonna be able to set all these hooks on that line. Is it, is it, can you use yep. that one? Heck yeah, we can use that one, buddy.
There it is. Good job, buddy. Well, I got some very interesting news. Uh, me and Brant went out and we got a little bit out there and I guess we ran into something because the trolling motor snapped in half. Wouldn't you go figure, we broke the trolling motor. We were probably from, all right, we were probably from here to that tree line right over there, a pretty good distance away with the, the, the wind and the waves taking us that way when the trolling motor broke. So I started paddling back, coming back all the way towards shore, towards where the Jeep was. And uh, man, I started paddling and paddling. And so what I ended up doing though is uh, the trolling motor snapped right there, but it still worked. I Brantley worked the pedal there and I held the trolling motor in the water till we got all the way back from way over there by water. Oh, very slow process getting back. But we got back safely, we're fine, everything's good, and uh, gotta get this trolling motor fixed. Obviously get a new one, gonna need a new trolling motor. So, it'll be good. Yeah, well we made it back safe, but it was pretty funny, huh? <laughs> Did you have fun? Yeah. Me too, buddy. I found the perfect skipping rock. Let me see, show the camera. He said he found the perfect skipping rock. Man, that does look like a really good skipping rock, buddy. That's a good one. This one I'll have to flip it on this side. Yeah, that'll be a good one though. Be a good one. You like skipping rocks? Mm -hmm. Me too. We had all these baited up, ready to go to set the trout line, and the trolling motor broke. So now I'm taking all the the worms off there. Uh, ah, another good day of fishing and boating. That's what they say, you know. Boats bust out another thousand. All right, as you can see, we had quite the weekend. Me and Logan forgot to put the plug in the boat, filled the boat up, almost sunk that thing. And then me and uh, Brantley went out trying to set a trot line and the trolling motor, trolling motor, the trolling motor snapped on us. The trolling motor snapped on us somewhere halfway out in the lake. <laughs> and I had to hold that thing in position while Brantley used the pedal. It was some work. I think I got some sun. My nose feels a little burnt there. I try to you use sunscreen and a hat and stuff but part of being out there on the water is uh, the sun uh, <laughs> man what a weekend on the water i'm telling you boat bust out another thousand that is not an exaggeration so now i need to get a new trolling motor randy thank you so much randy and logan uh, have come out here and they helped me all week get this boat ready to go randy rewired it logan did some wiring on it and uh man we just, it was ready to go. We got to go out on the water for a minute. You saw Aiden do a cannonball off the boat. We had some fun on it, but we didn't even get to catch a fish because I hit something with a trolling motor and it just snapped. So, did all that work and didn't take about a day for it to fall apart. <laughs> that's that's life of the boat for you though. I'm sure, I'm sure we're gonna have a lot more fun with that thing. Uh, just gotta get a new trolling motor. Let's go take a look at all these animals, guys and uh, make sure they're doing okay. Make sure they had a better weekend than we did. We got Aiden over here on the grill. What you got going on here, son? Some hot dogs. Some hot dogs and some sausages. Yep. Those are gonna be good. Good job. Ooh. Looks like the pig's got a nice little uh, water hole there. How you guys doing? How you doing today? You're getting big, aren't you? you got any food? <laughs> Yep, still got food. Give him a nice little shower. <laughs> <laughs> got him a nice little mud pit here, don't they? Yep. Go ahead. Margo can come in there, it's fine. Okay. Now, I wouldn't let other dogs in here, but Margo's all right. <laughs> Margo's our good farm dog. Go ahead and pour it in the thing over there, buddy. Yes, yes sir. But fast, there you go. Good job. <laughs> buddy. 
Are you gonna are you gonna cock a doodle doo or what? Cock a doodle doo. I see you. <laughs> All right, buddy, go ahead and put them in there with that golf ball. We're trying to see the chickens have been laying their eggs way over there in the corner if we don't leave an egg. Or in this case, we're leaving a golf ball and some eggs. And uh, they'll, they'll lay their eggs in there. Uh, I just put this golf ball in here today to see if it helps. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> guys, thank you so much for watching and uh, following us and our family and our adventures. Uh, we hope you guys have a wonderful Father's Weekend. Leave some comments down below about some of your uh, most eventful fishing weekends and times with boats. Uh, I've got plenty of stories about being out on boats and going fishing where just had terrible days. But on some of them days, we caught a lot of fish, so it was a lot of fun and made it worth it. Um, but yeah, leave us some comments down below. We love reading those. Um, hope you guys have a wonderful day. We'll catch you on the next video. And if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.